Hello everyone, Shadefire here. This is episode 27 of Let's Play Alice, Madness Returns. Last time we uh, got dollified and then dumped out of the dollhouse and into this possibly real, possibly not real version of London. So we're just gonna poke, oh well, this certainly seems not real. I'd like to point out that we're probably nearing the end of the game with only a f one chapter and 13% left in the game. Though that might be mostly collection based since our percentage right now is 87. So a bunch of numbered children. Let's not go down there yet. Seems that's our only option. More handmade corsets. You oozing saw of depravity! Children wearing their names around their necks as if they're breeding livestock! A declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> you brute! They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still, you're an insane wreck. My work is done. Infernal Train. I guess this really will be the last chapter then. We're back to classic Alice. Hatter, I must stop this infernal train and the evil force that drives it. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First it was all search, freighted with fear and fragmented memories. Now it's the train. Never time for tea. While your brain's on holiday, we are ruined. Now we're all mad here, and that's a good excuse for going to hell in a teapot, but not for forgetting what your senses saw. Forgetting is just forgetting, except when it's not. Then they call it something else. I'd like to forget what you did. I've tried, but I can't. You've used me and abused me, but you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened, and you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. Come to receive your punishment, then. I know I'm guilty of something, but punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime the strong visit on the weak. And you're right, abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harm pay a penalty. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier, but you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. I have a feeling that's not the only time it's going to jump cut away. But first, we're probably going to get thrown into a fight or two. You corrupted my memories, but you failed to make me forget. I could have made you into a tasty bit. Clients out the door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no memory of the past or no sense of the future. But you wouldn't forget. You insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad, like your sister. Don't speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease, pretended to despise me. She got what she wanted in the end. My little 
Lucy! What is this train's destination? Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, no! Oh, poor Lizzie! And there are no centaurs in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed! Curious if there's any. No, there's no collectibles here at all. I'm almost afraid to say it, but might there be actually a final boss fight? Unlike the rest of the game? like a boss. The past must be paid for. Bring it on, righty. Lefty. Whichever one you are. Something just spawned behind me. Now I'm guessing these other ruins are here for health. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to fight both hands and then his head afterwards. I'm almost dead.
It's really hard to avoid those attacks that cause the camera to lock. Because you'll end up just dashing into them instead of away from them. Okay, we don't have to reflate the first hand. Oh, I was right beside that health. Wasn't close enough to absorb it, I guess. And that means when I respawn, I only have that two hearts left or whatever. Three. Two hands down. Make believe Avenger. Sorry. Oh. Okay, now we have to fight both. Where I have to hit him. Oh, in the top. No, it just hit me. They got tongue slapped or something? So I can't hurt the hands, I just have to not get hit by them. Luckily, his tickle attack doesn't do very much damage. Frightened of your shadow. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
Trying to fight those things at range while not getting hit by the hands is seeming to be a difficult thing. Stupid hand in the way when I'm trying to shoot. not very good against moving targets. The Bumby is slain. See you charged. In prison, some half-wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed. A hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My god, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. You, monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished. By whom? By what? Psychotic, silly bitch. Your madness will be punished. Now leave. I'm expecting your replacement.
everyone was none the wiser. So I killed Bumby and now we're permanently stuck crazy with the real world and the false world overlapping. Houndsditch home for wayward youth. I, I can't go in. Uh, do we just continue then? Ah, uh, Alice. We can't go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find the way, and most of them don't recognize it when they do. Delusions, too, die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient. Remembering it, agonizing. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory. For now. Huh. I guess that's all. Well, that was, uh... Quite a thing. Stage is different from the, uh first game. I mean, it was basically two completely different sides of the third person genre in the same sort of universe. I think it's kind of neat that they decided to go with a uh, outside of Wonderland story that connected to the inside one instead of just a straight Alice is stuck in Wonderland and she's got to figure out why she's crazy. Like the first game. Don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy the first game, even if it got annoying sometimes. But that was more because of old game design tendencies than because of the game itself. Whereas this game was kind of enjoyable all the way through. Even when it uh, got annoying because of the platforming. Just because, like, hey, look, uh, here's another section of long platforming because we didn't really know what to fill this area with. So just jump on these floating platforms. And if you fall off, no big deal. You'll just teleport back to the beginning. I gotta say that's kind of nice. But it, it also goes into the category of games getting too easy these days. I mean, the first game didn't hold your hand. If you fell off the edge, you died, and you loaded back from the last time you saved. Or the beginning of the level, whichever one was earlier. Or later. Whereas here, it's like, you die, you go back to a checkpoint. You die, you go back to the last place you fell off of, or sometimes ahead of where you fell off of. And it definitely is a sign of the times. That last boss fight there would have been a lot harder on an older game because we would have to fight through all three stages without dying otherwise you'd have to start over which I gotta say that was one of the most disappointing things about this game on a side tangent was that there was a complete lack of boss fights boss fights were kind of one of the things that made the first game really great because it was like well what kind of crazy Wonderland thing are they gonna turn into a boss and what kind of gimmicks is it gonna have even though some of them weren't Wonderland related at all like the giant centipede but they were boss they were boss fights in the traditional sense that they were different from the regular gameplay because they showed you something that you wouldn't see otherwise in regular enemies. Some sort of weird pattern or something like that. Whereas this game just completely, you know, gave up on that. Which is weird because third person character action games like this usually have a good focus on boss fights and making interesting ones. Also, if you're wondering why all the uh, names are also in Chinese, it's because uh, American McGee's studio is in Shanghai. The uh, Spicy Horse Studios. Well, it seems we've run out of music. But other than that, it was an enjoyable game, and I'm glad I went through and played both of them in sequence. But you can definitely feel the years between them. It's also a great looking game, I didn't really say that, point that out too much, but uh... One of the best things about the first game was the artistic choices, and this game carried that over into the newer generation graphics in a good way. All the areas were pretty neat looking, except for when they got to the ruined areas where they all kind of looked the same. Kind of hoping there'd be a bit more Wonderland characters in this, though. I mean, they kind of just went with the main ones, and the dollhouse I'm not even sure about. 
If anyone knows what, what uh, Wonderland related thing that is, or if that's just a direct reference to, you know, the doll factory being the prostitute factory in the real world. Anyhow, we're coming on to the end here, I think, with the QA. Um, so I'm curious what you guys want me to do next. I have an idea for a project, but it's a short project, I think, that I'm going to do next. So that probably won't last very long. It's only a couple levels. But after that, um, I don't really have a specific project in mind quite yet. I have one that I might work on, but I don't know when. And uh, I'm definitely going to be filling with it some time with the first impressions videos and all that. Because there are a lot more games I am playing for the first time. So I'll have plenty more stuff on that end. But other than that, uh, suggestions, of course, are always welcome on my uh, channel page. I've got that little suggest away thing where you guys can vote up on other people's suggestions and all that. So uh, if you have any specific ideas of your own, feel free to throw them in there. I'm not going to shoot anything down out of hand. I know Amnesia is a popular one. Um, I might actually get around to that soon. Ish. I still haven't played it. It has been sitting in my Steam list pretty much since it came out. I played about an hour of it, and then I just didn't have the chance to go back to it and kind of forgot about it. I think maybe an, a uh, Tim Schafer. He does get a special thanks, so I guess that's why there was a Psychonauts reference. But yeah. So, Amnesia I might like to get back to, uh, Cargo I think might make a good LP someday, just because it's so weird all the way through, and yet still fun enough to play because of the different vehicle creating mechanics. I hope I put some music over this because, uh, this dead air in between every time I stop speaking is kind of annoying. I don't know about you guys, but probably. I don't know how many of you are actually going to sit and watch through all the credits. I mean, typically I tend to do that with LPs I watch, but not always. Uh, another thing I noticed, too, is with Alan Wake coming out on PC now, and, well, probably it'll be out by the time this video goes up, um, I can't help but uh, wonder if you guys might want to see some of that. The re only reason I wasn't LPing it previously is because uh, I didn't have a capture card from the 360 version. But now that it's on PC, I could just play it through there. Um, it's a pretty good game. One of my favorites, probably, from the year it came out. And I'm uh, wondering if you guys might want to see that. Um, just kind of play it by ear, I guess. I've got projects in mind. I've always got more projects in mind, but if I want to do them right away, is a different story. Electro Electronic Arts Russia. Akeski, that's definitely a Russian name I haven't seen before. Mm, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I've been Shadefire. Uh, this was the final episode of that Let's Play Alice, Madness Returns. Uh, episode 27. And I hope you'll see me come join me next time on my next project, whatever that may be. I'm just going to let the credits run for a bit. If there's anything after those, uh, I will put them after this part of the video. Five, four, two, one.